Hello world, this is Wolf bringing you a, a, a new, 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 you know, that's my usual online name, uh, a new series, if, I'm not sure if it's going to be a series, but this is a Red Minecraft Remy. Redstone tutorial, and joining me is Potu, Potato, Yomu, whatever you want to call her, um, she is the Redstone genius here, I am simply commentating and sort of also explaining Showing a little bit. You've seen me build these way too much. Yeah. And at the I guess at the end of the video I can show you my version of the super overcomplicated Oh yes. Yeah, I'll show it at the end of the video and maybe I'll make an explanation for it in a different video. But anyways, um as you can see in the title, uh this is a soup this is an extremely well hidden staircase. Staircase. As you can see if you look around in this house, it is a plain, normal cabin that's sort of oversized, but it's an never empty mind cabin. that. It's, it's a perfectly empty cabin. There's nothing out of the ordinary. No f hidden staircases, certainly. But yeah, definitely no hidden staircases. Um, utilizing definitely not a really crappily hidden pond. Yeah, and um, assuming that you guys are probably a bit smarter than us and can hide the lever a bit better. That's just there for convenience. Yeah. So you can show it off. Oh, uh, wait, and wait, 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 wait. Let what? me close it. Let me show the magic. All right. There's some uh, lag going on from the server, so don't mind that. But as you can see, it's a server. yeah, it's a server. You can't really complain. Anyways, as you can sort of see, the redstone, the pistons, and all that moving junk. And Only one piece of redstone exposed. And basically, one piece of redstone exposed, and everything else. I mean, it's a hidden staircase, so as long as the top is hidden, I think it's fine. Anyways, uh, this is a hidden sign inside of a hidden staircase. The hypothetical hidden place of hiddenness. All I right. don't know what you'd be hiding down there, but I guess in an M SMP server, you might be hiding your diamonds or anything good down there. Or just have something really cool to hide. Just something really cool to have. Alright, so that is the final end product, and now we're done with that. I'm go We're going to show you... The actual redstone. This is the actual redstone contraption itself. This is how it works. Um, okay. over, yeah. At the beginning, basically because we, we hate it, everyone hates it when you can only flip a lever at the top and not at the bottom so you can't close it or anything. We have two separate uh, levers hooked up to an XOR, which is extremely compact, which again, yeah. my good friend over here conceived, thought up of whatever you want to call it. We'll explain that later in the video in the... Basically, Deta you can detailed open it version. from anywhere you want. Two places anywhere you want. You can actually hook this up to more gates. You can, say, hook it up to a combination gate, more cross nor gates if you want. So you can open it up from as many places as you want. You can open it as, in as many ways as you want. And with as many different types of uh, contraptions. Like, you could have buttons, you could have anything. It would just have to be all hooked up to this in the end. Alright, so basically this is going to be the quick overview. We're not going to explain many things in extreme detail. Uh, the third segment we're going to have, we're going to actually watch basically, Poe to rebuild. Step step how to build this thing. Alright, so this is the quick overview, so I'm just going to quickly do a run through of what these are. This is um, another con conception, contraption, whatever you want to call it, by Poe Um It is an inverse... I call it an inverse yeah. timer gate. I really don't know what to call it. It's basically just two AND gates and they're hooked together. Except the but... thing that's cool about these is that um, the input for the AND gate is from one input. Input, yeah. Mm -hmm. One input, but the thing is um, one side of the AND gate is delayed. So the cool thing about this is uh, when you turn, when you power it, when you power the line, it takes however many ticks you put in here for the output over here to turn on, but when you turn it off, it's instantaneous. Your and, language is much better than mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this is simply inversed because we have two separate sets of pistons. Two and, separate operations that have to be done, and they have to be done in an opposite order every yeah. time. Right. And we Otherwise, will again explain that in more detail later, but so we have two sets of that. Um, on the left side, this is the stair side so not this is the... basically simply powering the pistons so we have basically. yeah you i'm have not delayed reactions to the uh the pistons that go out first because when you uh 
again, inverse operations. I mean, a lot of inverse operations in this thing. Uh, once again, we're not going to explain all these one by one yeah. what they do. We're just sort of showing it, and if you want to figure it ex out exactly what it does, feel free, but we're going to also explain that later in the video. So these are the each individual blocks, torches, repeaters, everything you need to get this to work. Once you have this set up, it will work as however you it want. It will work every time. You just have to make sure that you have all of your timers set to... Or you basically have to make sure you have a lot of repeaters. I have a lot of them set to delays, but not all of them have to be set to delays. It's just for the sake of the server. Now, one of the crucial things to remember is that a lot of these things are timing based. So this is almost exclusively timing based. One Redstone itself is pretty easy to figure out. You have it's to make sure that yeah, uh, when you don't want one set of actions coming before the previous is finished because then things usually get ugly. So now we're done with showing the uh, basic overlay, we're gonna actually watch Po2 rebuild. Construct one of these things. Alright, and from here on out I'll just leave it to you. Oh my. I feel... I feel so popular. I feel so pressured. Well, I'm, I hope I don't sound like a college professor when I make this. So basically you have to make sure that you have a lane, first off. Like, where the heck is your person going to walk when you put this thing? So, how about that commentary? <laughs> uh, commentary, yes. Uh, commentating. Okay. Comment, comments, comments. Uh, say something interesting. Basically, say something, 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 something. Hello, like my name is Remy Wolf, and I am... Remy I, uh, Wolf. Remy Wolf. Remy Wolf. I like that name, Remy Wolf. Hmm. I sense a disturbance in the charisma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shush. You know what? I'm tempted to take your skin and just put a wolf face on it or something <laughs> now. <laughs> Remy Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, floating pistons, yay. It's important to leave lots of space under here because redstone powering everywhere. is rather complicated. So basically, this is the basic layout for the pistons itself. If you um go back to the other thing, basically when one when one of these uh, oh gosh when one of these uh, retracts or extends, the other one should be retracted. Uh, why so, don't you just build uh, quick the redstone that powers these real quick and it will just hook it up to levers first and just sort of show it. Yeah. I told you, my for someone who lives in America, my English is absolutely pathetic. I don't think it's so much just the English. I think it's just more the men having the mentality to explain all of this. Because I don't. I just do it. Yeah, a lot of people tend to do that. <laughs> don't think, don't plan, just build. I plan, I think, but I can't talk. <laughs> Alright, so basically, the reason I have repeaters at the end of this is not only just so that you can um, have the redstone right next to each other, because you could easily, say, power it from underneath or above, but the specific reason for this is that... Oh, well, I'm, is gonna, that when, I'm gonna huh? quickly build the... Uh, hypothetical floor above just so you can sort of see what it should look like th through the hole yeah that's a good idea but basically the um the pistons that extend out have to be retracted last because otherwise the um like this one right here will end up sticking through the ceiling and not being uh, not being retracted will not move mm. because you can't you can't push you Oops. can't push pistons that are um, extended. extended. What are we doing? What are, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, just I don't to know. What are you doing? Quickly explain what yo ah uh, quickly explain what Yomu was saying. Uh, ooh, ooh, what are you what are you doing? 
I was just gonna quickly attempt. Ah! <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay. I'm just gonna hook this up. So you see, um, when you have it powered, uh, you're gonna have this powered later on, but basically. Uh, I'm gonna. Yeah. When you power you have it later. power the rest of them before you can do anything. No, but I just sort of explained what you meant, but you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna yeah. let you. I'm just gonna let you build. Yeah, because you can't explain it if the if the construction's not built. And I just have repeaters here because otherwise it won't power through the block for whatever reason. It'll read the redstone as in a square. So, oops. If you're uh, if you know some of your basic redstone, that should be pretty basic yeah, knowledge. But repeaters, yeah, repeaters. If you have them next to each other, they'll be able to power through blocks right next to each other. Otherwise, it'll just be. It'll just do this. It'll circle and do nothing. Yeah. Sort of so, you show that again. As compared to doing this, because these four redstone end up becoming a square, not powering yeah. these two logs, if yeah, you so have funny. two repeaters, they'll be pointed in that direction and into the power. power through the block. And that's the only reason we need to have that there. Alright, that's basic Minecraft. Redstone yeah. 101. <laughs> Alright, now before we actually play around with this a little more, have to place the other block in. And for those wondering, these uh, redstone torches that are sticking out of the ground they will be powering these sets of pistons, which will then extend them up. And in here will be the floor that's going to be pushed up. The right side pistons will be pushed out to where I'm standing right now. And then the redstone torches underneath will power the pistons, thereby pushing the floor up, thereby hiding any traces of a hidden staircase. Exactly. And because... um. Because it'll be turned off later, it won't power when I have this stuff extended. It'll actually be powered through a different method for the uh, extension of the staircase, so that the redstone doesn't get mixed up. And plus, I don't know how to make two things be powered at the same time through the same contraption. So yeah, this is basic. This is the basic setup for this part. Which basically... Uh, you need another piston here. I do? Yeah, it's the piston that pushes the last block up. Oh, no, no, never mind, never mind. It was right here, right here. No, 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 that derp, staircase... Yeah. yeah, it's right here, it's right here, it's right here. staircase right here. just stays here. No, derp, I didn't realize it was right here. Yeah, that staircase just stays there. So anyone who were wondering who, what this is, basically, when you have the right side of the pistons... Here. I'll just show you. Okay, so that's what happens, you know... The floor comes up, this is missing a block. Um, when that's powered, this redstone torch is also powered. So when that's powered, uh, you just have it sort of transferred to the uh, repeater, which then powers this block upwards. If you didn't have that, the last block would not rise up because you can't really place a torch here because that's where a stair is going to go. Uh, you exactly. Wanna... You want to place the stairs so you can sort of see? Yes, that's where the final stair goes. So you can't, unlike the other ones, you can't have a torch underneath here. So we're just powering that alternatively In an through. Yeah. Alternative manner. And now I have to go and replace the repeater. Uh -oh. Meow. Oops. There we go. Yeah, and basically we're just having this hooked up to a sort of double inverter, so that it's powered at the same time the rest of it is powered. But it has to be powered from underneath, otherwise it will consequentially, accidentally power these blocks under here. Because if that happens um, at the wrong time... Yeah. Pistons are really annoying in the sense that you can power them from so many different directions. Exactly. The way you can... I've seen places where you can power them um, through a redstone torch from two blocks away, even though that shouldn't physically be possible. So yeah, as you can see, basically this is a timing system. I think I just broke it. Oh, Remy, what'd you do? 
Yeah, I just broke it. What'd you do? Uh, I don't know, but I can fix it real quick. I just need to find sticky pistons. There they are. Yeah. Uh, you want to just get to building the other... Yeah, I'm gonna get buildings in the next part. Get rid of this ugly thing. I can usually fix any broked things. You borked it, Remy. Bork, bork, bork. You porked it. Pork. <laughs> yes, that's that's a saying me and my, some of my friends and I have. You just pork it. I don't think this piston's supposed to be here. What? No, what do the, you do? no, because no. Okay, it's 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 fine. It's fine. I fixed. I fixed. Ah, no, you pushed me into a uh, piston. Hello. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> Having a charisma break? I can't please it's not placing. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. Fixed. Alright, fixed. Alright. We have no idea what we're doing, so <laughs> we're complete our We're completely winging this. <laughs> Alright. Winging this and being complete idiots. Alright, continue yeah. on with your building. Uh we're gonna move on to the inverted and gate thingies. The and gate, watch them who's it's. So yeah, you know how an AND gate works. You get two inputs, right? Uh, whoops. I derped. Oh, no, I derped. Ah, uh, you're, you're, you're pushing me to... Oh, I was just gonna... Okay, that works too. <laughs> AND gates, basically, unless... Both of these are powered. This piece or not powered. Will not turn off. Like the... this piece of redstone is powering this block, which is turning this redstone torch off. So unless both of these powers are turned off, that redstone tur tur bleh, that redstone torch won't return to its original state. And in this case. Basically, they both have to be on in order for this to be on. If A and if A and B, if A and B are true, if and only A and B are true, C equals true. And for those who haven't taken any sort of programming. logic programming logic courses, it'll all come to make sense sometime in the future. It's basically binary. This is all binary. So true and false. If true so. and true equals true. Exactly. Thus being an AND gate. And the delay here... I don't understand what I did the first time I did this. So I have no idea why I put this delay here, but... It works because it keeps the... Um, it keeps these blocks from accidentally glitching. Because I've noticed that happens a lot more <clears throat> on servers. If I were to do this in single player, I wouldn't need these repeaters, but... It's ser it's anti-server lag. It's anti-server protection lag. Wait. Anti-lag anti server protection. Right. Right. Anti... <laughs> I told you my English is terrible. That's why I'm a math person. And to quickly explain how this one works, I'm just gonna... Power the... Okay, yeah, that works too. Yeah, you have to have an inverter so that one of these will be powered so that the actual powering of one side will start. So you'll have one end extended and the other retracted. Think of it as this way. When the left side over here is on, the staircase is there. When the right side is on, care it's to hidden. invert it real quick? It's poof. It's poof. I'm just going to invert this yeah, real quick. So when the right side is on, the floor should be here, not the staircase. I don't know why that happened. Ugh. Oh, whoa. Glitch. Derping. What? Derping. Why is it derping? I don't see no derp. No, I just fixed it, but... Anyways, yeah. When the right side is on, the, the staircase... Well, yes, but also the staircase is hidden when the left side is on. Mm-hmm. Then you have a staircase. It, uh, there but... is no staircase. Uh, 
that's actually very strange. We are having technical diffic- Oh. Here's something that's very important that I forgot to do in my rush to build this. Oh, the delay. Yes, the delay here is very important. If not- Okay, yeah, I'll let because you- Because this piston is retracting upward, so it has to, um, not only extend out, it also has to push up. So, before I turn- before this turns off, this has to turn off. So that that's why this one has to be elongated even further. So in um to sort of uh, re-explain with the actual pointing because I, it's my camera, but um, what because this middle block right here, the one I'm pointing at, be, turns off and then is retracted. Um, if you have it set as a normal timing, what happens is they basically both retract at the same time. These pistons can't retract this without this being off because pistons are derpy and you can't retract a piston that's already powered. So basically, there's it just sets a clear delay. This goes off, this goes off, rather than they both go off at the same time. Exactly. And just, sort and of, just to fix that. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> servers. And <laughs> staircase. Alright, so... Once again. And basically, let's explain the actual concept of this inverse uh, AND gate a little more. Uh, you will. So basically, this, what? This is the case. What'd you do again? It's it's not working. It's it's not tracking properly. Wait, how is it? What? Let's pause the video real quick. Right, Sorry about uh, that. Uh, we actually missed two things. Uh, first of all, we need to delay these. We completely forgot to delay and these. And delay these. Um, the amount of time... I suggest three ticks on all of them, so basically nine it ticks in total. It has to be over three ticks, because the, because the actual operation of, op of opening one side takes at least three ticks, as far as I'm measuring here. One tick, uh, one tick here, two tick here. Do we take there? And we have even more delays here, so yeah. Just to be safe, nine ticks. And we also missed yeah, it's a actually, delay yes. over here. And it has to be at least eight ticks. Uh, be back in about a minute. All right. So um, that was our problem. We forgot about delays. our stupid timing. And again, this we also forgot this tick. It's one tick, but it actually an does. Extra tick for, um, it's just one yeah, tick, but it actually does. For this timer up here. Actually, we probably don't even need it. We can probably just extend a delay on this no, set of repeaters. No, it, it is needed. It's for the extension right here. No, I'm saying. No, I'm saying we could probably extend that one tick on these three. Probably. That is true. Oh well. Okay, whatever. Anyways. Um. Yeah. And that's the. That's basically the staircase. Um, if you want to know how to make the uh, X or, we're gonna start building that now. Um, Yomu. Yeah, you don't actually need it to make the staircase function, but it is for usability. Uh, yeah, you can have just one one lever work the entire thing, but then the thing is, if you open, it, if you can open it while you're upstairs, you can't really open it from downstairs if it's just one lever, which is why we need an X or, which is basically a uh okay how to explain this it's basically this? a two way it's basically a lever that can be open it switches the state of any input so, so if you have as long as um the pistons uh the two inputs a and b are both not the same it's off correct um yes and when they when they are both the same, regardless of whether they're both on or both off, the state becomes flipped, or in other words, it becomes on. Oh. Off, right? Oh. I, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> just just watch it. Just watch it. It's, it's easier to explain with it actually built. And a lot of people have tried this with uh, pistons. I don't know where that came from, but. Basically, what this does with the repeaters, um, 
the repeaters basically me make it so that these redstone don't interact. But what happens is, is that, say, when you power this, that torch is turned off, thus the powering for that redstone shuts off. But still, at the same time, one of these are powered. Oh, you want to build the last bit so it actually connects to the... Oh, well, I'm, I'm showing off the gate first. Right, but I think it's it's probably better to see it actual. There we go. But when both of these are, say, powered off, this leaves that torch on to power these off, which basically turns the entire thing into the off state. So basically, if both of these are the same state, like this and this, uh, right. these are off. Uh, you want right. to flip them, both of them back? Yeah, I flipped them... Again? Yeah, just... Flip them this way. Alright, so as you can see, they're both off still. And if you... As long as... So when they're both the same state, off. When, they're, when they are not the same, on. And it's different because a lot of gates are based on whether they're on or off, as compared to whether they are identical or not. So that's one of the things about yeah. the XOR. So and that's... yeah. like T flip-flops... Basically anything that has two inputs that yeah. go with one output. And the okay. same thing applies here. Is that all of this stuff turns on. So this will be turned off. And so that is the... That is that, pretty much the gist of it. Alright. Um, do you want to quickly show them my super overcomplicated version? <laughs> oh, yes. Alright, let's... Basically, before he saw what I did... Remy had indeed tried to do this himself on a server, which we'll be heading to right now. Quick advertising for a... Uh, server is gensokyo.dyndns.biz. Gensokyo is spelled with G-E-N-S-O-K-Y-O. Basically, I have the same exact setup here, except... Um, you can stop watching the video but now, by the way. Um, <laughs> when you press the button, there's a slight lag because delays and lags everywhere, but... And, and obligatory um, music. music box. And when you open it, that's that was actually the exact T backward playing of this, which you might recognize. <laughs> In other words, Zelda. Uh... Yeah. And there's a few, there there are a few differences because mine works off of one button input as compared to a on-off state. But that's personal preferences. And it you does, it does flip flops. I like to use cross and or. And basically, the only thing that it should make a difference of is that a button input would require T flip flop as compared to an X or. But yeah, so, it's just personal preference. I'm not gonna bother explaining how the hell this works because that's gonna take another 15 minutes, but. Uh, let's just say that this I don't is even understand it. I I actually understand exactly how this works. It's just it's really overcomplicated. Yeah, that's why it's burning my eyes out right now. I want to eat you up. The Arr working Arr over here is basically the exact same. It's just it done in a slightly different manner, but what's done is still done the same exact. The basic core of this is the same. You have two sides, left and right, one hides the floor, one shows the floor. And Except instead of AND gates, you're using T flip-flops. And also have a, a lot of uh, things. A lot of delay. A lot of I, delay. It's actually, I yeah. I don't necessarily know what exactly that's accomplishing, but... Yeah, so... That's my super overcomplicated version, and you do not want to try building this because this is extremely space inefficient and a pain to build and debug. As you can see, all these buttons, these are manual overrides. Indeed. And, and they can get pretty buggy. Yeah. And I actually had the pleasure of watching him build this. And uh, <laughs> rage. Hilarious rage see. everywhere. <laughs> and if uh, I'm gonna quickly show off one more part of this is I'm gonna enter cinematic view and I'm gonna actually change the lighting to moody and also show them your Remy cave my Remy cave yes 
set the distance to normal. There's a very long staircase down. You're wondering what the hell this is. By the way, if you haven't stopped watching already, you can stop doing, stop watching now. Just, just watch him show off his building. And voila. The Remy Cave. Chunks not loading, but that's okay. You get the point. Epic DNA lava. And there's supposed to be a door here, but whatever. And another one. Oh, wait, no, this is different. This is just a... It's an abyss. And more redstone workings there, but basically, when you step on this, it closes the thing on top. But it doesn't open it again, which I think is pretty cool. Like, even if you step on it, it won't open the top. It's a trap. And more redstone workings here. That doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna fly through it. basically mean you're using an RS snore for one of those types? Uh, latch, I'm using a, uh, man a piston latch. Basically. Oh, a piston latch. And more redstone, more redstone. And that is basically it. And this, this part was just completely showing off, but... <laughs> <laughs> you could have stopped watching like 10 minutes ago, but oh well. Anyways, uh, that is the conclusion of today's tutorial and, uh... Today's lesson in redstone. Today's lesson in complicated redstone that probably be simplified even more, but eh, you know what? It works. That's all it I care works, about. It works, it's smooth, and it's... Relatively fast. Relatively fast, relatively efficient. You could possibly make this in survival without spending too many resources. Although killing slimes can be a pain for all those sticky pistons. But like, if you're gonna do any sort of hidden thing, you you definitely need the slime things, but... Yeah. Anyway, that uh, this was brought to you by Wolf slash Remy, as well as Potu137 slash Potato slash Yomu slash whatever the hell you want to call her. Because we, <laughs> we all seem to have at least five aliases, and it's... You five. Pretty... No. I have three. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, oh, before I go, I also want to show one last thing. Uh, my giant floating castle. <laughs> oh, yes, the Remy castle. And, yes, we have Runecraft. Uh, this is my uh, floating castle thing that I made upon a spur of a creative... creativeness. Just a creative splurge that kind of out overshadowed anything that I've ever built. <laughs> Uh, these I don't don't ask me what these towers are. I, I honestly don't know. The They're theme... towers and they look nice and it looks like a fantasy floating island thing, except it's really close to the water. <laughs> yeah, but it works. Minecraft, you and your sky limits. It's yeah, not quite done. So I it's... still have yet to make that garden. I promised. So it's Lazy. a what? Yeah, it's a water themed thing. It's water fantasy. Floating island. And also, uh, one thing I'm really proud of is the walls. Look at that. Look at that. It's it's mixed between mossy brick, breaking brick, and and solid brick. Oh yeah. Look at that. This, is, this is a sexy building, and my FPS is dropping because I have the render distance set to something too far that my poor computer can handle. Oh, why do you torture that thing? Yeah. Yes. Oh my god, why are there chickens in here? Oh my god, chicken! Yeah, more. We um, kind of have a chicken invasion in here. Anyways, we have, yeah, uh, we have, we have far overstayed, over gone our due time for this tutorial because we have just it's been... It's not even a tutorial. It's not even a tutorial, it's just, a sh it's just me showing off. Okay, anyways. If, if you guys want any tutorials or further explanation on anything I've just shown you, uh, feel free to leave a comment. If anyone ever watches this video, in other words, because I feel like this is going to get 10 views, and that's going to be it. Anyways, that's <laughs> anyways that's the end of the tutorial. My computer's lagging, and good day to you. This was brought to you once again by Potu and Wolf. Good day. Uh, where's my stop recording button? There it is. Uh, real quick, we're coming back. Uh, I need to show you the middle garden thing. Uh, uh, it's, it's a really cool middle garden thing. I don't even know what it is. Okay, bye. <laughs>